tonight, the city of Burlington has an approved budget taking it into the next fiscal year. Now, it hasn't been an easy two months as the mayor learned weeks into her administration, a $9 million deficit ballooned to $13 million and then some. ABC 22's Maliki Flynn shows us how this budget was balanced without any layoffs. The mayor presented her final budget proposal Monday afternoon before the council met, and when they did, it passed with flying colors. Burlington City Councilors unanimously approved Mayor Emma Mulvaney Stanek's proposed budget Monday. The budget proposal implements a two cent public safety tax, one cent less than voters approved, increases the city's gross receipts tax on dining and entertainment from 2 to 2.5 percent, doubles the city's hotel tax from 2 to 4 percent, and implements user fees for some city services as new revenue sources. Mulvaney Stanek says she is proud of the bipartisan compromise within the budget, especially in regards to public safety improvements. This budget is a community safety focused budget, and I'm particularly um, am proud and impressed that when you look at the entire budget, we have um, invested $4.6 million in additional investments over what we spent in fiscal year 24 spending on just community safety. The council also approved an ordinance amendment allowing the gross receipts tax and hotel tax increases to go into effect. The hotel tax increase will remain after the 2025 fiscal year, but the tax increase on dining and entertainment will sunset after 2025, something councillors disagreed on. But they agreed on the importance of public safety improvements, noting its connection to the success of the gross receipts and hotel tax increases. I am confused why there would be a sunset to any part of the gross receipts. We're talking about a $1 inc increase, a $1 increase on a $200 meal. Um, you know, something that people don't have to go out to do. I think this tax is a good idea. If it's even going to have a fighting chance, we need to fix what is going on downtown. You can't have people stealing items from your store all day long because they don't pay gross receipts. And then those items can't be sold to somebody who does pay gross receipts. The tax increases will take effect on August 1st. The mayor and other city officials say they are already looking ahead to the next fiscal year's budget and hope to turn their sights to 2026. They'll begin preparing for that later this summer. Reporting in Burlington, Malachi Flynn, ABC 22 News.